Tesla has modified its hardware for or A14 full self-driving computer hardware. This is quite an interesting change here, reported on by Not A Tesla app. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Tesla's, while they're trying to improve their full self-driving chip, this is a, a key part of any Tesla car. In a recent analysis of the A14 chip, Hardware 4, um, from recent Model 3s and Model Y vehicles, Tesla Hacker Green says there's been a change to the chip. He says that Tesla is trying hard to cut costs and this has affected the changes. According to Green's findings, several components have been now eliminated from the new computer boards and wiring harnesses as Tesla is eliminating all non-essential components of these boards. These include the removal of various connectors and even the small batteries that power the board's real-time clocks. The thick copper ground wire in the wiring harness has been removed and the board will now use the vehicle's chassis as the ground, which is actually normal practice for vehicles. So that's not really a big deal. From a component level view though, removing parts reduces the cost of materials. It makes the car cheaper to manufacture. It could make the car more a little bit more efficient as well. The chip might actually use a little bit less power potentially. These changes though, are not just about cost cutting. So not a Tesla app says this, eliminating individual ground wires and instead using the vehicle's chassis for 100% of the electrical grounding is a move that simplifies the entire design, reduces waste, and cuts costs simultaneously while keeping the components grounded effectively. This not only saves on copper, but simplifies the wiring harness, making it lighter, less complex, and easier for robots to install during the assembly, during manufacturing of the car. Apparently, removing the individual RTC batteries, which are, by the way, very, very tiny, says Tesla may potentially rely on the vehicle's a low voltage battery reducing the components that need to be sourced, installed, and that could potentially fail over time. So what's Tesla's low voltage battery? What's well, the 12 volt battery? What's the difference between Tesla's 12 volt battery and the 12 volt batteries in other cars? Well, for example, the 12 volt battery in my car, the XPNG6 is lead acid battery. It's okay, but I, it's not ideal. I think they should change it to either a sodium battery or a lithium ion phosphate battery. Tesla's 12 volt batteries are lithium ion phosphate, so they will last longer. It's one advantage that Tesla still has over many of its rivals that no one talks about. Tesla should actually talk about that as a feature. The removal of non-essential connectors may, well, I think is gonna be, I'm sure Electric will run a, a negative post about this and say how this is terrible. Tesla's cost cutting, it's gonna damage its full self-driving. I don't think that's the case. The A14 computer, will be cheaper to manufacture, but apparently it now includes a front bumper connector. That allows owners to retrofit a front bumper camera in the future. Soon new Model 3s will come from the factory with a front bumper camera installed. So that's one of the changes that's been made that actually is a big deal, a positive deal, right? Adding that connector for the front bumper will give you extra, one well, extra camera and extra basically features in your new Teslas. Now, apparently Tesla's next-gen full self-driving computer, so the A15, uh, the newer version of this chip, will be much faster and be mass-produced late next year. So this is just an interim change for probably the next 12 months. This is how the new hardware forward chip will be manufactured. And then by the end of next year, the new A15 chip, which is many times more powerful than the A14, will come out and it'll make the A14 fairly obsolete. But does that mean the A14 isn't good? No, it's been great. But um, the new A15 is going to be far, 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 far better. So it'll be very interesting to see just how much better it is. I mean, obviously, Elon Musk has talked it up, saying it's going to be like 10 times more powerful or something like that. But in the real world, how will that affect the car, the new Tesla's coming out in 12 months' time? Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. 
the Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount. Samsung shares have just jumped a pretty significant 7% after signing an historic deal with Tesla worth 16.5 billion US dollars. Why exactly is Tesla going to pay Samsung 16.5 billion US dollars? Well, I think it's um really a big deal this news. I think this is big for Samsung, it's big for Tesla, and it's important for shareholders as well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Tesla, Elon Musk said the automaker have, has signed a $16.5 billion US deal to source chips from Samsung Electronics. This move is obviously going to help Samsung. In the short term, their stock price has reacted positively. It's up 6.8% to their highest price since September of last year after news of this deal. Tesla stock is hasn't really changed. It's up 1% in pre-market trading. So what is this new chip? Well, this is Tesla's next generation A16 chip. And it's apparently the project has faced long delays after Samsung's difficulties in retaining and attracting major clients. So Samsung had some issues with this for some reason. Here's what they said. First of all, I'll, I'll tell you in just a moment what this chip's actually for. Samsung agreed to allow Tesla to assist in maximizing manufacturing efficiency. Tesla are actually in the process helping Samsung make this chip. This is a critical point as I will walk the line personally to accelerate the pace of progress, said Elon Musk, and the fab is conveniently located not far from my house. Now, this is a bit of a, an interesting post from Musk. The 16.5 billion US dollar number is just the bare minimum actual output is likely to be several times higher. So if it's several times higher, then that's at least 33 billion US dollars, at least double, right? Several times could be, I don't know, triple, even quadruple, that would be looking at more than 100 billion US dollars. I don't know if it's gonna be that big, but it's gonna be big. Mm -hmm.